Hello everyone, this is uh, Antonio from Random Stuff and um, I wanted to make um, a video on an issue with Maxthon Browser. Now it's a great browser that I use as an alternative, it's got some interesting features that other browsers don't have, but I get this um, error message which um, is quite annoying, uh, let me just open it up. I get this, the desktop icon of uh, Maxthon browser is abnormal, fix it now for normal use. You do repair now, but it doesn't actually fix the problem, you just get involved in a kind of a loop. Now, the, the only solution that I found, I looked at different forums um, uh, regarding this issue, uh, recreating the, the shortcut, but I just wanted to show you um, the difference and, uh, and how I uh, resolved it. So, if I, um, if I uh, point out to the top here where I have my icons, my shortcuts, this is the new one that I created and I created it from the actual source from the location where the application is installed in Windows um, uh, directory. Now if I go into my uh, startup uh, menu here and I've got a Maxton, this is the original icon that was giving me the problems which I will delete in a second. If I do right click on that and just show you the location of that. you can see it's pointing to start menu programs MX5 and if I right click again and look at the location of this you can see it starts in C program files that and then this is the actual target okay and I think this is what the problem is so let's just leave that one there for now this is the one that the original one that came with the application when I installed it but now and it's the one that's causing the um, the error screenshot that you saw uh, at the beginning, which is this one. And now, if we go and look at the new shortcut that I created from the actual source of uh, well, from the actual executable in the bin directory of Maxon in program files, if I look at this and look at the open file location. And I put it to the side. This is the good one on the left. This is the shortcut. If I right click to see where it actually comes from, and I'll just compare the one that doesn't work on the right and the one that does work on the left. As you can see here, it starts in that. It is very similar. Well, it's the same actually, but the target is different. So you see that? And see that? mxstart.exe. This is the one that doesn't work for me. So, in order for it to uh, to work, to have this one, if I right-click on the one that's on the on the actual uh, desktop, you see it's exactly the same. Maxon.exe. There's no start in there as there was on this one. One more time. This one has mxstart.exe. That's the one that's causing me a problem. I just copy that and uh, second. Let's paste it here and let's paste this one here. So in my in my case, this is how I solved it. It might help some of you out there. It's different, okay? So um, I'll put that into the description of the video below. And so the shortcut that I've got on here is now the one that does work and I replaced the one that was created by default which was in my um, in my start menu okay in my uh, task uh, taskbar menu um, the the way I, I got the new uh, uh, shortcut not it's not via the tool or via the message that comes on the screen by Maxon because that doesn't do anything for, for myself but basically what I did was I just went into the C drive went into program um, files uh, times 86 and in the bin location I right click on that on this one and send to desktop and that puts it on my other screen so I'll put it back there so shortcut number two if you look at the properties max on there's no start as the other one okay so I hope that's helped anyone out there who's having this issue um, 
give uh, Maxon a try. It's a really nice um, uh, browser. It does um, have some cool features like pop-up uh, pop uh, window for videos. And uh, until the next one, take care. Cheers. Bye.